think I took any time off. I just been kept on swimming since the surgery. Okay. Um, didn't do too well the few uh, seasons after. A little bit overtrained, probably, and didn't really recover from the ablation. It took a little while to get back into it. And about two or three months ago, had some of the best sets I've ever had. Really? Well, the ablation is just cauterizing a part of the heart that's causing the arrhythmia. Um, I think mine was about four hours long. It's a normal procedure. It took me about got a year or two, a year and a half to start feeling normal in workouts again. Wow. So how long were you actually out of the water? About a day. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's amazing. I think about mm, two, three months ago, I did about 3100s on a minute. It's 52 from number one to number 30. Um, had a couple other sets with 500s repeating, holding about 424s or so. And then I can't really remember the rest of them, but. I've been pretty satisfied with them. Right now, I'm kind of the bastard of Texas swimming because I don't really belong in distance group or mid D, and in between, so I go back and forth. Okay. I think Drew Kibler is probably the best trainer I've had in a long time. Very cool. He's real sharp in workouts. I'm excited to watch him swim in NCAAs. I think with the AFib, you know, you get palpitations in workout when it gets a little hard and a little bit of lightheadedness and that kind of goes away or it did about a few months after the surgery um, but it took a long time to get back into it after work so I was surprised I thought it'd be like a two three week ordeal and then I'd be back into it and it turned out to be you know 10 15 times longer than that so 